What's up, Jens? It's your girl, Chucky, and I'm back with another. Ow. Duncan Native Duncan Music. Music. So, y'all, y'all already know the deal. Before we jump in, we're gonna clear, we're gonna cleanse our space. Cause you know what's up. Um, can we clear our space? Or no? Where my lighter? Guarantee I took it downstairs. Good to need some matches. All right, y'all, go ahead and cleanse our space. Release any negative energy, bringing good vibes to you guys out there. If you are new here, my name is Chucky. Welcome. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe because we're lit over here. You already see we starting with the good vibes. You already know I'm coming with the good vibes. We're going to push that right on out the window. To the right, to the right. All right, now that we got that out the way, let's, all right, now that we got that out the way, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Now, disclaimer, I do apologize if I keep looking that way. My monitor is right there, and I want to make sure that I am in the frame, okay? So, I have my notes here. And I am ready to get into it by the time we're going to be talking about hair tips and I am going to be doing a, a link check um, I'm sorry I'm on her raggedy but my hair appointment is in three days and I'm excited so um as far as these hair tips I am going to be telling you things that have worked for me personally now all these things you are more than welcome to use they are different for everybody but these are just some staples that i like to use and what have worked for me for the past um five years i've been consistently using the same products for the last five years and my hair has gotten so healthy i have not been focusing on the length so much even though i track it just to show like Healthy hair means length retention. So, um, the first thing that I am going to get into is one of my staples that I have been using for well over five years. Now, this clay is bomb. Okay. You can use this clay on your face, your body, and or your hair. Basically what it is, is you mix it with um, equal parts or two parts powder, one part apple cider vinegar. And it um, draws out all of the toxins and dirt in your skin and in your hair. Now this, I like to do this once every few months or maybe like once a month. It's time to re-up. I need some more. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and order some more. Now, outside of the clay, in here I do have henna powder. Now the henna powder I pretty much use to just give me curl definition and to help aid in removing the toxins when I mix my Aztec healing clay. So I do mix those two together and the henna helps promote hair growth and stimulates the scalp, at least for me. It has multiple um, benefits to it, but that's why, oh, excuse me. And that is the black castor oil. Now I don't have a specific brand that I like to use. I do like to use this as a 
I use it. Now, um, the next thing that I am going to be showing is a staple. I'm pretty sure that everyone uses a sealant because it, it is so thick. So I definitely like to use this to add shine and to seal moisture into my hair. Now, another product that I have been using for well over six years is um, African Shea Butter. Now, this African Shea Butter is, is a mixture that I make myself um, in my kitchen. And this one is actually whipped. And it's not hard and all that. So it has a couple of things in it, but this is the only product that I use in my hair as far as um, oil or just a cream um, in general. This is the only cream that I use in my hair. It does have um, several different things, black castor oil, um, extra virgin olive oil, essential oils, um, so for a tea tree oil, like there are several things in here that I like to use in aid of my hair. Now, this definitely helps moisturize, seal any moisture into your hair if you will. I won't, I won't say it's a sealant, but it definitely helps moisturize. It uh, stimulates the scalp. It helps with dandruff, reduces shed hair, and all that due to everything that is in it. Like I said, this is my own mixture, but African raw African shea butter is one of the main staples in this, and it is one of the main things that I use in my hair, just period. Okay. So, um, the next thing is going to be my um, essential oils, which I have quite a few here. I got these on Amazon, I believe. And I have lemon, rosemary, bergamot, cedarwood, lavender, and eucalyptus oils. So, I use all of these when I am doing a... Um, deep condition or if I'm detangling if I'm just moisturizing my hair I add a couple of drops of each one so each one is very different they all aid in promoting hair healthy hair and hair growth now um this two-step treatment is a another thing that I do by Afro G I try to do this once every um Three months, depending on what type of uh, treatments I have done on my hair. So this basically just, it just helps stop breakage and repair your hair, give your hair some protein. Now, I do use um, aloe vera juice, which I only have a little bit um, here. And this is infused with a couple of things. If you can't tell, there is some clunky stuff at the bottom. You see that? Right there. So this one is infused. Now, um, I do use the aloe vera. It, um, it treats buildup and dandruff. It moisturizes the scalp and it stimulates uh, circulation into the scalp to get your blood flowing. And that blood is releasing all of the oxygen and the food and nutrients, proteins, whatever you want to call it, to your hair shaft. Um, now, that aloe vera juice is infused with some dried hibiscus flour, which again helps aid in promoting hair growth, reducing dandruff, and things of that nature, as well as lemongrass, chamomile flowers, and lavender flowers. Okay. Now, this next product is, again, one of my own, and it is a product I have been using for eight years. Now, I have changed it over time. I have added new things for great benefits, and that is my own growth oil. Y'all see that label? 
yes your girl got her own growth oil and this is look y'all see the herbs still at the bottom you can i don't know if you can see that but it has started to separate and there you go look at that so this is an oil i use it to oil my scalp do hot oil treatments i use it to seal creams i use it to um pre-poo like i use it for everything and when i say everything i do mean i use it for everything um pretty much if I am moisturizing or greasing my scalp or doing a hot oil treatment, most of the time, the only products that I'm using in my hair is my own. And these go hand in hand with each other. They have, you know, same, um, some of the same ingredients. So they both give um, the same benefits. One is just a cream. One is just an oil bomb hot oil treatment. Great benefits. Um, out, outside of that, um, outside of like, just like store bought hair products. And when I do say, say hair products, I do mean like moisturizers, detanglers, um, uh, lotions, things of that nature, shampoos, conditioners. The only things that I use that are store bought or online bought, if you will, is the Kaleidoscope hair products. Now, um, these products can be very, very expensive. And I started buying the drops before I started making, well, I was already making my own hair oil, but I wanted to see how the drops worked for me. Um, and it did help in some aid, but I thought my hair would be a lot longer than what it is now. Um, but I do use the milkshake. This is a detangler spray. And if you have watched my videos or just seen my hair out, you already know it's thick and it's a mess. So this milkshake really, really, really helps in the aid of detangling my hair. And I love it. I love, 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 love it. Now, the other products that I have also used, sorry, give me a moment. Yeah. All right, so the other products that I have been using from the Kaleidoscope, which I actually forgot them downstairs, is the... is the excuse me shampoo and conditioner she has a therapeutic and a um excuse me um something else i can't remember but my oh excuse me <clears throat> my when i tell y'all my hair loves the shampoo and con Woo, oh my goodness my hair loves the shampoo and conditioner. I mean, my hair loves this, but I noticed that my hair feels clean without feeling um, stripped of all the natural oils. My hair is um, easy to detangle after I wash it. I don't have much of a problem if I wash it correctly. Um, I... Um, I noticed that my curls clump together. It brings my curls together when my hair is wet. When my hair is wet. Because if my hair is not wet, what curls? So, uh, I do swear by the shampoo and conditioner. Uh, as well as the milkshake, like I said. Those are the only, like, main um, big brand products that I use. Everything else outside of this, my... Um, my moisturizers or just a detangling spray in general, I make them myself. I do avocado mask. I do aloe vera mask. I do protein mask. I do um, t t I mean, you name it. 
Oh, I, I use onion juice, like that, which helps aid in hair, scalp stimulation and promotes hair growth. I use all that stuff. So a lot of stuff I'm using comes from my kitchen. I have started to go all natural and just making my own products so that I'll know what's going directly into the ingredients and going directly onto my scalp and onto my hair and making sure that I'm not using any um, major alcohols or anything to destroy what I have worked so hard for within the last five years. So those are um, the products that I have been using. What do I do to my hair? This. I either have twist. I have a um, puff that I've been rocking for like probably two weeks. I'll probably wash my hair and then leave my hair alone. But the main thing that I do is nothing. Besides the braids. The braids have been working. But most of the time... I do nothing to my hair. I just leave it alone. I stop putting my hands into it. I stop wearing stuff with metal in it. I stop wearing stuff that causes friction to my hair. I just leave it alone. And plus, I don't like doing my hair because it's too thick. So that make that make it a lot easier to leave my hair alone because I don't like to do my hair. So um, those were my tips. So.